Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go through my empties. I feel like my empties basket has filled up a lot quicker than normal. I feel like usually I do this like once or twice a year, but I think I just did a video like this very recently. But my basket is full and I need to empty it out. So that is what we are gonna go over today. Also, I filmed this eye look today and I believe the video was up yesterday. So if you wanna see this eye look, I will make sure and have it linked down below so you guys can check that out as well. Without further ado, let's get into my trash. Usually I would kind of make this into like little sections like makeup, skincare, whatever but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna pull from my basket and show you guys what I have used. So let me just go ahead and dig in. The very first product is something I am definitely not going to repurchase. I put this in my fails. This is from Hum. It is Beauty Starts From Within Glow Sweet Glow Skin Hydration for the Ultimate Glow. It is hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. It's a dietary supplement. It's gummies. They tasted really good. I got this sent over to me, I think it was with some Drunk Elephant products, and I used, obviously, or I ate <laughs> all of them. They tasted delicious, but I feel like I got nothing out of it. There was no, I, I saw no difference, so I'm definitely not going to repurchase this. I wouldn't suggest them to anyone either. Next up, my Tatcha Violet C Serum. Now they sent this to me originally, but I have already repurchased this. This is what I use during the day, and then I use a different one at night. But I love this stuff. I grabbed it with the Sephora sale and with a lot of the other stuff that's in here. But yep, I already repurchased that. What do we have next? Ah, La Mer powder. <laughs> I have to take the little thing out of this to get all of the powder out, but I have already purchased another one of these. You guys are always seeing this in the description box. Usually in my videos, I will use this powder instead of my favorite, which is the original. I still have quite a few of those left. Been very lucky. Some of you guys have sent me some. I love you. I love you. It just makes my anxiety go down. But I love this powder. This is what is on my face right now, and I have another one already in my drawer but this one is all the way gone I thought there was four in here but maybe I'm wrong or I'm missing it somewhere <laughs> I have not even been using this that long uh yeah I love this stuff so much this is from glow recipe I have been raving and raving and raving about it I have another one right here <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. The best mister in life. It also, best mister, it's like sounding like a guy. But anyway, I'm amusing myself here. Sorry. <laughs> this is hat. This has the best mister. It's like a fog like a kind of experience and the best amount of glow. So it's not overboard, but it's not dry either. It's like flipping perfect. And I love this so much. Clearly I have another one and I have a backup after that as well too, because I know how quickly I go through these. Ah, see, I knew I had another one. Here it is. I told you, I knew there was four in there. I don't know why I couldn't find it. All right, next from MAC, I had the Coral Sea Softening Lotion Spray. Originally, this was like a twist top, and I have this, but it's only because I didn't have a recent one that I went through. This is just still in there because of my Back to MAC. This was the original. It was the Marine Bright Formula Softening Lotion, and then they had a spray, but when I quit MAC, I bought a bunch of those. But that shouldn't be in this basket. It should be in with my Back to Mac. Um, I did check this out. I really, really liked this. This is really nice. I still didn't like to spray my face with it. I, there's something about putting it in the palm of my hand and putting it on my face that I feel like it sinks in better. I don't like, I don't know. I just, I just like to put it in my hands and put it on. But I'm not purchasing this anymore because I'm using the one from Tatcha. But I do recommend this. I do really like it. I like the way it feels, everything. Speaking of Tatcha, this is the 
essence. So this is what I replaced the softening lotion with. I didn't feel like I needed both. I went through this and I grabbed another one during the sale. This is expensive, but I feel like it is worth it. I see the difference in my skin. I use this and I just feel like my skin looks more plump. I feel like it just makes everything sink in better, which obviously the MAC one does as well, but there's just something about this one that I just really love. So I've already purchased another one of those. This next one is a gift from a friend. And after I told her how much I loved it, she ended up buying me a big old bottle of this stuff. And <laughs> I am so grateful because I have never felt anything like this when it comes to micellar waters. I don't know how to pronounce this, so I am going to leave it right here. But this is a lotion micellar water. So something about this, like when you're taking off your makeup, I love the Sensibo whatever from Bioderma. Probably have an empty one in here, but this, after you take everything off, it feels like your skin is really, really soft. I feel like it almost adds in more hydration after you take off your makeup with this. So this is excellent. If you're dry and you've tried other micellar waters, you need to try this one. I highly, highly recommend it. And like I said, I have a big old bottle now, so it's amazing. I grabbed a few more powders from up top. <laughs> this is another one I got during the sale again. I've been using this powder quite a bit recently. I've been, I've always loved the loose powder, but for whatever reason, I have really, been going to town on the La Mer translucent pressed powder. I, again, I have another one. I bought it with a sale. Then my Sicily powder, I just ran out of that one. I bought another one and this is in the shade 01 Iris C. I love this to set my face, but I love it more to buff. So that's how I tend to use this one. And I usually will use either my La Mer loose, my La Mer pressed. I like my Chanel powder and all that for um, setting my face. And then this is the Hourglass Veil. Again, this is one of my favorite powders. I did purchase another one, again, with the sale. It was like the sale happened at the perfect time this year because I was running out of all these different things and I was able to grab so much. But this is the Veil and I like this the most, again, for buffing. So let me drop these on the floor and not make a <laughs> Some more products from Tatcha. You guys have seen this time and time again. and. Lot more with the sale. <laughs> this is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil, my favorite oil of all time, of all time. Before this, it was the MAC Tranquil Cleanse Off Oil, but this one I feel like is more hydrating and it really gets everything off. And I have started using this sometimes when my skin has been a little drier without doing a second wash, but only in the mornings because I feel like it's just a little bit more refreshing and I'm not stripping my skin in the morning when I haven't been, you know, wearing makeup and stuff all day. I just love this so much. And then when Tatcha had sent me the, there's four of them, <laughs> I tested out all of them and ended up loving them. I have this in the Gentle as well. This is the Rice Polish Classic. I've gone through this one, repurchased it. I love this stuff so much. This is what I like to use to exfoliate because a lot of exfoliators are just too much for my skin. I'm sensitive and if it has too rough of like that beading kind of thing, it just my skin, it actually kind of hurts. So I, this, this is amazing. It works so much better for me. This one hurt my bank account just a little bit because I think the price of this keeps going up. But again, sale, I got it at the 20% off sale. This is the La Mer Renewal Oil. It took forever for me to go through this. This is one of my favorite oils. It does not break me out. And I use this all the time when I'm doing my hair. You, know, you could probably like, what? what are you talking about? Like I'm going to do my hair tonight. And when I do that, I have a scalp protector, but I have been using this oil to go right around the edge of my face because when I'm using Retin-A and then also bleaching my hair, I can kind of get a little burn sometimes or chem like a chemical burn. Uh, and this has helped that 
like stop it from happening. So I always take this right around my edge of my hairline and then I like to use this at least, at least one time through the week where I only wear this to go to bed and it just repairs my skin so well. I just love it so much. So I do have another one of those. As I mentioned, I thought there would be one in here. This is the Bioderma Sensibo H2O Micellar Water. I still will get these. I think I'm gonna start getting them in this size though for whenever I try travel because like I said I really like that other one for daily use not daily use because I don't use it daily but for when I'm at home and I'm going to be using it I like the other one but this for travel is just really nice I think it's like six bucks at Beautylish anytime I'm right at the mark on Beautylish to get the free shipping but I'm not quite there I put one of these in there and then I get my free shipping <laughs> Ooh, I'm not sure if I've talked about this before on my channel. It's disgusting. I'm so sorry. So I'm actually using one of their um, hydrating serums right now. This is from Is Clinical, IS Clinical. I'm sure I'm butchering that some way. This is the Cleansing Complex. Brianna Stanko sent this over to me with a few other skincare items, and I really liked this. Um, I'm not purchasing it again right now, but I think I will again in the future. This is so nice. It doesn't strip my skin at all. It's what I use after the cleansing oil at nighttime with my Zoe, and I just go to town, and it's just, it's so nice, but it, yeah, it's really, really flipping gross. And you're getting quite a bit in here. It's 180 milliliter six fluid ounces it took me a while to go through this thing I think there's two of these in this basket this is my favorite brow setter of all time this is the benefit 24 hour brow setter and it just keeps my brows from going haywire I have I have bushy brows this is tame I, I've done them recently and cut them and I've clipped you know done everything but my brows can become crazy sometimes and that stuff always keeps it in place. More La Mer. This is the Revitalizing Hydrating Serum. I have to use this during the winter time. I just, there's no other serum that hydrates as well as this one. This is my favorite of all time, but it is expensive. So I only use this during the winter now. I didn't repurchase this just because I know we're going into summer and I like other ones just fine for that. Like the Belief one, like I said, I'm using the one from Is Clinical right now. It's a cooling one that I really like. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I actually bought the Belief Hungarian Water Essence this time for the spring and summer. So I love this. I will repurchase it though in the winter, not right now. Like this stuff is amazing. If you have truly dehydrated skin and nothing has worked, that is worth the money if you ask me. It's 100% worth it. And then we have two lip masks here. The Laneige Sleepy Mask. I have gone through another one of these. I did not repurchase this. And you guys will find out why in my favorites. Um, I will repurchase this. I've been trying to get the Apple one, um, but every time I find it, it's like the shipping is real stupid. So I don't wanna buy it and spend that much on shipping. So I'm hoping that the Apple one will just eventually come to Sephora so I can get free shipping. But until then, I've got one that I really like. You, Like I said, wait for my favorites. And then this is the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. They sent this over to me and I was using this for a while at night. I have found that I definitely, definitely, okay, let me see. This one I like for at night because it's thicker and I kind of goop it on my lips. And then, whew, and then the Camilla Gold Spun Lip Balm is what I like to wear during the day. But this one at night was just heaven. I absolutely loved this and I will repurchase this. I was just talking about Belief and now I have a product from them. <laughs> this is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I love this stuff and you're getting more than what you typically would get with an eye cream you get how much 0.8 floor eight floor eight four fluid ounces like that's almost a full ounce and that's not typical for eye creams i do have a backup of this but i'm currently using the charlotte tilbury magic cream or whatever and i'm really liking that but i do have a backup of this and we all know that I have I have a new one of these already open because I use it on the daily. <laughs> this is from Becca. It's the anti-fatigue under eye primer. 
I'm telling you, you guys, this is day, how long have I been using this now? At least over a year and consistently. I just absolutely love it and I refuse to go without it. It smooths out this area, it depuffs, it's, it's everything. The problem is a lot of people, you can't use too much. Like you're not gonna get a lot on your finger and that's on purpose. Don't put too much because you'll have some slippy slidage and it's not any good. Just use a small amount and in about three minutes, you'll start to feel that cooling sensation. It's not instant, but this just helps my under eye look its absolute best. I love this stuff. <sighs> I went through my last use of this today. This is the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. You guys know I love a foundation if I go all the way through it. And last time it was the Laura Mercier, and I did, I'm halfway through that one now, but it's not empty. This is so good, so good, so good. It's given me a little bit of anxiety to know that I don't have it right now, but I think my order for it is either gonna be here today or tomorrow, so it won't be too long. This stuff is it's like glue, it just stays in place. I have combination skin, and I think this is gonna be like my my go-to during the summer. I haven't, like, I did a video with this right beside Estee Lauder Double Wear. Make sure you check that out if you're like kind of wondering how it holds up. It's a very interesting find. And then of course, Boss Liner for Milk. I only have three in there. <laughs> I use this every single day. It's my favorite liner for my top inner rim. Nothing else is taking its place so far. This is the bomb.com. If you have not tried it, you need to. I have this in um, several, I have them in all their colors because they originally sent them to me, but I got addicted to BCC, which is the nude I like to use down below, and Boss at the very top. Like Those are my favorites. I love them. Ooh, and now I've talked about this on my channel before, but it's been a while since I've had one run out because I don't use it all the time. And this is from Skin Ink. It is the Pure Revival Peel. So this is like the smaller size, which I have decided I'm just going to keep getting this smaller size but they also have a larger size this is like one of those things that you put on it's a clear kind of gel and you make this kind of motion and it gets the dead skin cells off people think that it doesn't actually work I'm telling you it works like a miracle you can't use it back to back because you are going to dry out your skin but my favorite thing for this is sometimes Right up here, I don't put my Retin-A all the way up, but it can, you know, it spreads throughout the night. I can get a little dry right here and then a little dry around my mouth and it can get a little flaky. This right here, I will dab anywhere and sometimes all over my face and rub off and then my makeup goes on so much better because it does actually get all those dead skin cells off. It's amazing and I have another one of these as well. Speaking of Retin-A, this is completely gone now. This is the 1% Tretinoin. It is prescription only. I, If you go back to my older videos when I first started using Retin-A and Hydroquinoin or whatever, um, I used a mixture. Well, the mixture only went up to 0 0.05 for the Tretinoin Retin-A part and they didn't make it higher at the dermatologist that I went to. So I started to do my own mixture of the hydroquinoin and the Retin-A of the 0.1%. Now they have the mixture to the higher dosage, so I'm back to using it. It's HQRA+, plus, I think, from my dermatologist. I don't know where you can get it anywhere else, um, but yeah, I get it from my dermatologist. So I'm still using Retin-A but not in this form, so that is out. And then the last thing is the Kiss Strip Lash Ash. It's been a long day. <laughs> Strip Lash Adhesive. This is one of my favorites, but it will pull your lashes out if you are not careful. I feel like the non, like the ones with latex, I feel like I have so much trouble with getting them to stick, whereas this stuff, it holds like nobody's business and it just goes on and stays in place. But if you put too much on, you're gonna rip out your lashes. So be careful and it has aloe in with it. So I'm out of that. And that is it. Usually I was like, wait, I don't have any new lash in here, but I have not gone through my new lash. So we're still working on a bottle of that. That's my favorite lash growth serum. I also like Latisse, but if you want something over the counter that doesn't have like the side effects, 
new lashes. So good. Anywho, that is it for my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to see this eye look, just look in the description box. I'll have it linked down below. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.